it's time to rehouse some spiders. <laughs> Hello you lovely bunch of people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and this is Pet Rock and Roll. So today's video, I've got some tarantulas I need to rehouse. Yes, eight tarantulas that I've got to rehouse. So I'm hoping that I can make this into a pretty decent video um, because I'm just gonna rehouse them all for you to watch and I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm looking down because I'm actually looking at the tarantulas that I've got out here in front of me. So yeah, shall we just get it done? <laughs> right, so I've got these enclosures, which are, which are quite like, they're not exactly the ones that I ordered. Uh, they look slightly different to what I ordered, but they work and I quite like the fact that they're that, this kind of smoky gray. I think it looks really nice. Um, and I've also already got a few tarantulas in them. And um, yeah, I'd like to keep it all the same really, so. And I've got plenty of tarantulas in these that I want to put in here. And then the ones that are in these smaller ones, I will then put into this size enclosure. So first of all, I need to get these set up. God knows where that's come from. <laughs> Mini rock. Mm, <laughs> right, so who will we start with? Uh, I think the Sleeto Cattle Verdesi. So this one I've had uh, from a one centimetre sling, and as you can see, he's now pretty chunky. And yeah, and whilst it's probably okay still in here, um, I wanted to give the new substrate. So the new substrate that I'm using with all of my tarantulas, um, well, all of my terrestrial tarantulas, is the Tortoise Life. Um, it, it just seems to work so much better. And what I've got in here, this is a cocoa fibre mix with topsoil. And I just don't like it. Uh-uh. I don't like it. So we're gonna get rid of it by bring our rehouse and putting new the new substrate in with everybody. Right, so here we go. Hey little dude. Uh, put a new water dish in. Yours looks like it needs cleaning. Are you gonna behave? Let's get a catch cup just in case. Let me see if I can just shimmy you over. Come on, come on. Climb up, that's it. <laughs> Don't flick hair at me. <laughs> Yay! Easy done. Easy as that. Right now we'll get your cork back. We'll stick that over here. Look at that butt. <laughs> so cute. Oh man. This is a really, really cute tarantula. So next up, we will go for the Nahandu Carapoensis. Again, this one, when I first got this one, it was that tiny. I didn't even know whether I had it or not. I just I just couldn't see it, could never find it, but every week I put food in there in the hopes that it was still there and everything was okay. And now you'll see how big it actually is now. I mean it's not massive, but Ooh. compared to the size that he was, he's actually pretty big. We don't want that bit. Mm. 
if I can go back on my videos and find footage of when I got this one, when I first rehoused it, when I got it, then I'll play it now. And you'll see what I mean about how much it has grown. <laughs> but this one is a little bit more twitchier than the rest. Being a Nandu species, they are a little bit skittish at times. There you go. Job done. He's actually well behaved. Right, so now we are going to do the Slita cattle vegans. Um, but he didn't have cork bark. So I'm going to give him a new piece. I won this one in a raffle at the Brighton show, I think it was. Come on, little dude. Come on. Next is the Brachypelma Amelia. Now I absolutely love this species. They're so beautiful. He is so cute. What are you doing? Are you going to stay on the cork bar? Oh, look at that. Easy as that, eh? <laughs> easy peasy, Lance. That was real easy peasy. Nothing to with that rehouse. Although I'd like to put your cork back properly. So how about we move you? <laughs> no, <laughs> typical bracky. <laughs> boop 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 boop. Oh, don't flick ass. <gasps> oh well. That should be alright. She's um she's quite good at digging. I'll let her dig her own. Burrow. The Seracopama angustum. And this one is actually pretty big, to be fair. It's absolutely stunning. Good job. And that's it for those enclosures. So now I've got these three enclosures spare. I've cleaned them up just with water. Um, and now I've got to put some substrate in. <laughs> Right, so one of these enclosures is for the Dolisothel diamantinensis, which means that it's going to need more than just cork bark and moss because it's a webbing species. So they like twigs and anchor points and yeah, all that, all that jazz. Let me just put a few bits in there. I'll still add a little bit of this moss because I like it. <laughs> there you go. 
I think we should just start with that one, shouldn't we? Now I've just set that up. <laughs> so here it is in here. As you can see, it's made quite a lot of web in there, which is wicked. come out come out to play no it's not food I turn around dude turn around no not having none of it where are you now just take that out actually I might just put a little bit of this in there because that's its webbing and stuff <laughs> it's got such a good feeding response go on in you go no no all legs in please no no don't come back out no that's not how we play this game. That's it. Good job. This is Pamphobita <laughs> species Costa. I did have two of these, but unfortunately one died. That's what happens with slings, which is why I tend to not buy just one sling of the same species. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. Hey, dude. <laughs> Do you want to go into your no enclosure? Let me spin this this way. So there's the entrance to your burrow. Uh oh. Come on. I'm over. Good job. Good job. When this one grows, obviously it isn't going to be like that. It will look a different colour. If I can get an image of an adult, I'll stick it up on the screen now. But yeah, the males of this species are stunning. Their coloration is so much more brighter than the females. So normally everybody wants a male when it comes to this species, but I don't mind either way, to be fair. Is the grammar style Irengi or Irenge? <clears throat> it's said differently by certain people. Some people, should I say? But again, this one's really cute. So lovely colours on it. Come on, dude! Yay! Look at that booty. Good job. No, no, don't come back out. Don't, don't do that. Water. Yay. Oh, God. <laughs> no, dude. You gotta go in, in. This is the last one that gives you the most grief. <laughs> go on, in you go. <laughs> Good job. So that was a pretty uneventful rehouse, right? Um, hopefully, I've done the this video justice and made the edit on it as entertaining as I could have. Fingers crossed that you've enjoyed it anyway. Um, but before I go, I need to obviously give the chosen comment from my last video a shout out. So my last video was the 1K subscriber video. If you haven't seen it and you haven't entered the giveaway, then please do make sure that you pop over to that video and enter. Um, and the chosen comment came from Arachno Alex. Now he answered the question um, that you needed to answer to be able to enter the giveaway. <laughs> and he followed that with huge congrats on the 1K, 
fun sling rehouse star of the video has to be the yeah oh no sling let's have a quick look at that again yeah good job oh no, oh, no. <laughs> oh it's so cute too cute too cute so yeah make sure that you go and check out that video huge thank you to alex um, for uh, commenting on the video and to everybody else who dropped a comment all of your congratulations to me for hitting 1k you guys absolutely rock so yeah that's it nothing more for me to say except for make sure that you hit that subscribe make sure you leave a comment because you may well feature in my next video i upload every wednesday so until i see you next week take care of yourselves bye bye